Hello, welcome to ICGTrends.com. I'm Suresh Khanal. In this video session, I'm going to solve a question from MS Access from the sample set 09. Let's look at the question first. The database management question is on group C, question number 5 and 6. Question number 5 asks to create a table in given database, ACC 2012, and insert 5 records. We are asked to create a table named sales, uh, which will contain the sales ID, product ID, sales quantity, and sales rate. So these four fields should be there inside the sales table, which is inside ACC 2012 database. And question number six asks to create a report displaying product ID, sales quantity, sales rate, and sales amount. So these four, uh, three fields are from the table and sales amount. A new field has to be created on report. Sales amount will display the value calculated as sales quantity into sales rate. So there will be a calculated field uh, named sales amount in the uh, report. So creating a table in the excess database I have already demonstrated in many of my previous videos. So I hope you can do it uh, quite easily. I am going to uh, show only the question number 6 uh, in this video. It will talk about how to create a report in uh, Excel database. So let me start my MS Access and I've got already a database ACC 2012 created. Let me open it. Uh, this database contains a sales table. Let me check if the design fits the requirement of this question or not. Sales ID, product ID, sales quantity and sales rate. This is what the question asks to create a table. So this table is pretty fine for me. And I'll show you how to create a report based on this table. So to create a report, you need to go to the reports object on the database window. It will be easier creating a report using a wizard and later on modify it uh, to suit your requirement. So let me start with the uh, create report using wizard. The wizard starts. First of all, you need to select uh, on what table or query you want to base your report. We will be using the sales table for our purpose. And our report requires product ID, sales quantity, sales rate, and sales amount. So not the sales ID. We just need product ID, uh, sales quantity, and sales rate. Click it next. Three fields from the table sales we will be using. And here, if you want to add any grouping levels, no problem. Let us just go to next. The question doesn't ask us to do anything about it. And sorting, this also question doesn't ask anything, but we can sort it by the product ID. I click it next. And whether you want it to be the tabular, columnar, justified, which layout, whether you want it on the portrait or landscape. If there are too many fields to display, it is better you choose the landscape. But in our case, there are hardly four or five fields. The portrait layout will be quite fine for us. Click it next. And the style, whether the formal or soft gray, uh, compact, causal, choose any of the format you uh, prefer. Uh, I like this corporate style. Click it next. And here, uh, the title of your report. So let me call it sales report. And you have two options whether you want to preview the report now or you want to modify the reports design and because we need to add yet another one field on the report so we will modify the reports design and click on finish so this will create a report and the widget will create a report for you and open it in design window design mode or design view where you can make some modification and make it final for your uh, answer uh, in this uh, report, we need to add one field, a uh, sales amount. To add field, I need the tools, and where is my tools button? It's here. So this will open the toolbox. Let me put it at the top. Yeah, dogged. Mm. I need to draw a text box to create the report uh, amount field in the report. So. 
All right, now this is unbound field. This text uh, 11, I can cut it from here and paste it on the header area. So I control V, the text 11 field comes here. Let me call it sales amount and the text box is unbound right now click inside the box the insertion line comes there inside we were asked to create a calculated field the calculation is sales quantity into sales rate so here you will type equals to sales QTY multiplied with sales rate this one field is added here now it's no more unbound let me run this report click it close I will it asks if I want to uh, save this sales report yes why not and here is my report sales report so double click it to view it we maximize okay so sales report product ID sales quantity sales rate and sales amount is displayed here rest everything is fine if you are concerned about the formatting you can drag this line a little bit up to the sales amount and another you can uh, format this field to display the currency format otherwise the, uh, the solution is perfectly fine click it close to come back to the sales and click on design when the sales report is being selected so that you can go to the design view find the line here to extend hold shift if you want to make it straight and drag it up to here the line will be extended to cover up the sales amount and to change the uh, format of this field you can click this field sorry click this field and when this text box is being selected go to the properties it will open the uh, this one click on the properties button it will open the properties panel here uh, on the format tab we will apply the different formatting is here we'll apply the currency formatting for that text box and just click it close and let me preview this report once again now to display this uh, report in preview mode let me restore it on the title bar right click to go to the print preview or you can change it from the view also let me maximize it well the sales amount the line extended up to here and the uh, numbers displayed in the currency format now the footer went Wednesday October 24 2012 footer applied by default uh, which are created that for us okay that's all for the solution of this question number C database management question from sample set 09 hope you can solve this question by yourself now finally close this report it'll ask whether you want to save it yes that's all for this video thank you for watching